What's up ladies and gentlemen, Kings Reaper here and welcome back to another episode of Escape from Tarkov playthrough series. Now in this episode I started off with the VPO-136 which is a sniper rifle and I wanted to test out the new ammo that was recently re released for this type of guns which is the AP-366. So I pretty much loaded into the shoreline and wanted to see how effective, how good this ammo is because Based on what other people are saying, this ammo should be insanely good, but hey, we're here to test it. So as I was pushing down the shore, I heard somebody moving around here. And shooting as well. So it was only a matter of time when I'm going to spot him. And there he was. And there he was no more. So after a quick tap into the head, obviously the ammo was efficient when it comes to headshots, but what ammo is not? <laughs> a lot of it, you know? But okay, let's not judge the book by its covers, okay? So this was just the first shot, first kill, fine. We pretty much picked up everything that this dude had, while well, he didn't have that much, but anyways, we killed him. After that I pushed for the gas station to see if somebody's gonna be there and... Well, what do you know, somebody was there, shooting on scabs. I just couldn't see him just yet. I tried to take a quick shot on him, but I missed unfortunately. So. After that, it was only a matter of time when he's gonna push out, and I was patient. I had enough time to wait for him. I was checking the timer and everything else, but eventually, he started pushing up the hill. Well, obviously, a chest shot is not enough. So he was in this bush. I just had to wait him out for him to come out. And I would kill him easily. But yeah, of course, there has to be a third party. There has to be another guy here. Right now, while I'm waiting for this one. And, of course, the other guy pushes me and that's it. So, that's the unlucky situations you are going to find yourselves in, where you get pinched from a third party and you just have to choose which side you're gonna look at. You can't be focused on both. But anyways, next raid. Customs, we spawned on the west side. I pushed for the hill when there started to pop some players. They, some players just popped out, you know, and then their heads popped off just like that. So there was a lot of fighting going on, so I waited a bit more to see if somebody's gonna come, but nobody came. So I slowly pushed for his body, and of course, the moment I get down here, I get laser on my head, and somebody pushes these bushes. He got one-shotted. Come on, more shots, please. More shots. Whew. That was a close one. That dude almost had me. I did survive, but just barely. So sometimes timing is everything, and my timing was so bad and so unlucky that this guy came in the same time when I came to loot the first victim. But anyway, we did survive, I did patch up quickly as much as I could, I picked up all the gear I could from this guy, and then went on to loot the other guy's body. So this guy was pretty much loaded, he had decent gear, nothing, ex nothing extreme, you know, but it was good. But this guy, oh man, oh man, this guy was loaded. He had some extremely good gear. So I had to make some hard choices on what I'm gonna take, what I'm gonna drop, so the MPX was a goner in order for me to be able to pick this armored rig, 
He had another dog tag inside his inventory, which was perfect, because we're saving up those 150 dog tags for items case. So after killing these two guys, I started pushing towards the extract. Luckily, nobody came in my way, so I could extract easy, cheesy, with no problems. So, after finishing that raid successfully, I picked up some gear, upgraded my hideout a bit, picked up items that were in production in hideout, and decided to go for yet another round of sniping. This time, we took again M700, silenced M700 with M61 rounds and went into customs again. So this time we spawned in the yard next to the big red and immediately pushed out. And I heard some people fighting over here as I was waiting for one or two guys to pass the bridge. Somebody was also doing the same strat already. <laughs> Got <he. laughs> Got <he. laughs> So that was the guy that actually killed the first dude, so after waiting a bit longer I went on to loot his body. He did have some decent gear, but nothing extreme. So I went back and waited a bit longer, and there was somebody else pushing. So yeah, of course, the moment I have my scope on his head, he moves. So my aim was so bad at this point, I was getting frustrated with the fact that I couldn't get this guy to die. And then he started pushing full, full all the way across. There he was. You know what, we just got a grenade from that other guy, so we're gonna nade him and kill him. Oh yeah, that's what we're gonna do. So I throw the grenade. I'm ready to get that kill with a grenade. I'm ready for that kill. Ladies and gentlemen, we... Yeah, we didn't get him. After all those shots and everything, we did not get him. But anyways, we pushed out towards the extract, took the AK from that previous guy and loaded into the next raid. Unfortunately, sometimes your aim is gonna suck like that. So yeah, don't get frustrated, just pick up another gear set, go into another raid, it's gonna get better. So this time we spawned again next to the big red. And I pushed immediately underneath the train, started pushing for this building in order to find this. Oh yes, intelligence folder and the Aquamari water, perfect. So now it was time to reorganize my inventory a bit so I could slap that intelligence folder inside my secure container because I'm gonna need that for my hideout upgrades. I went on and looted some more stuff around here. And just as I was pushing to the end of the medical room, somebody started pushing towards me as well. But he did not expect me to be here. And this guy had some decent gear as well, so you know what, let's take it all. I pretty much took everything that was worth any kind of money, started pushing down, reloaded the mags, and just as I was about to go out, a sneaky rat, a sneaky rat that just died. Well, I guess you gotta be prepared for everything. After that, I pushed next to the old gas station towards the extract and went into the best building ever. Look at this, two filters, motor and a, a, a jerry can filled with gas? Are you kidding me? So at this point I was already so loaded, all I wanted was to get out safely. So I just pushed for the extract, nobody was there and I got out. Next raid, once again we picked the AK, a suppressed AK, I got an armored rig on me and I went into another raid but this time it was time for some factory raids because I had some quests to do there. 
So yeah, of course, I spawn in the room that is all the way in the back, in front of all the spawns, so I had to wait out to see who's gonna come from which direction in order to not get caught in some kind of a weird spot where I would just die. And as you can hear, there's already somebody walking somewhere in front of me, and there's somebody else shooting down the hall. So I had a good idea of the positioning of other players, I just had to wait and see where are they gonna go. Oh, that dude just melted. But it was not over, he was obviously fighting another guy who's down at the end of the hall. Oh, and he's waiting on a cheeky angle, okay. I have no grenades. So I'm gonna push Pit back at this point, because I don't want to be there waiting for him just to push me. He obviously had an advantage, he did give me already two hits. And I noticed that he starts flanking around. So he's peeking probably through that window, trying to catch me on a weird angle. Now he's pushing back to his original spot. But this time I had an angle on him, I was ready for him, and he died because he pushed into me on a weird angle, he didn't know where I was exactly. But he had some decent gear as well, so I picked up everything he had that I wanted, then I looted this guy, he didn't have much. And start pushing towards the office area, but using the underground tunnel, because I wanted to be safe. I reloaded my mags as well, because it's better to have them fully loaded and ready for some action. I tried to do the quest that I needed, but I went in with the wrong tool set, so unfortunately I couldn't do the quest. So after going through these tunnels, I start pushing towards the end, and this is where the shit goes down again. So I can clearly hear a player somewhere moving around here, but I'm not sure where he is. And before I know it, I lost my arm, I lost my leg, and I lost my other leg. So this dude is just nading, trying to get me with a nade, which is good opportunity for me to take painkillers. To be able to move properly. And yeah, he's waiting on an angle, just ready for me to peek. Perfect. So unlucky raid for that time, but nonetheless we had to go back in, try to fix those control boards for mechanic, I believe. So after doing that, I took another AK, but this time the small AK, you know, the baby edition AK, and went again into another raid. And this time we spawn right next to the board that we need to fix. So I start fixing it immediately, but unfortunately I, heal I can hear players moving around here, moving towards me. They start fighting with someone, so that gives me a perfect opportunity to fix that board. When I wanted to fix another one, I realized the tool set got used fixing the first one. Perfect, that means we need to come in once again with a PMC, try to get another board with another tool set. And this guy was just trying to get out probably with the uh, loot, but unfortunately I caught him, gave him one tap headshot and that was it. So the next raid, I was kinda pissed because I already died two or three times before this, so I took it in with my PMC only the effing pistol, and we went for another factory run, and I said, you know what, this is gonna be it, this is gonna be the most legendary raid ever. So immediately I spawned next to the first board that I fixed, and I knew there has to be somebody spawned back there. So you know what, I'm just gonna go and bang this dude to death. Well, he did damage me a bit, but... Give me all that sweet loot, oh man, he had an SVD, 
decent armor and this gave us an opportunity to fix that control board. So after fixing the control board, I injected myself with the steam that he had and just moved off to extract because I just wanted to be done with this quest. So after that we loaded into Interchange to do some quests for Ragman. Now this this map, this map in particular and these quests that he is giving us are so hated that it's, it's just amazing. So yeah, we pretty much had to check the stores. So we went from store to store, getting them all checked so that we could make Ultra great again. Big sale. And then this guy comes in. I shoot him like eight times with a BT ammo and he doesn't die. Wow, nevertheless, let's go back into the stores. So I entered this store but there's no notification of the quest done. But believe me guys, the quest was done but there's some kind of a bug where you don't get notifications from time to time. But anyways, after dealing with that quest, we took a sniper rifle and went again for interchange to do another quest which was marking the fuel trucks. And yeah, since they're all positioned outside, we spawned pretty much near the wall, went for the first one that's located on the highway. And instead of marking it, we unlocked it. Perfect. Goodbye, Mr. Scav. So I planted the marker, started pushing back, didn't want to get caught by a player or a scav. So after marking the first truck, we push immediately all the way around the map for the second truck, which is located right here in the middle of the road. So marking that was easy and the last one was just up ahead next to the electricity station. So after marking this truck, I simply went on and extracted using the vehicle exit over there. So I finished yet another quest for Ragman and now we had a couple of more of them to do. This one was easy, just buy all the stuff and give it in. So yeah, this was pretty much it for this episode guys. I hope you liked it, if you did give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that notifications button to be notified when the next episode comes out. I'll see you next time.